Did you know that included in a Times Tables Rockstar subscription are a set of interactive tools that help with the teaching of Times Tables? They can be found here under Interactive Tools. As you can see, there are a range of representations to choose from. Each of these can be used alongside physical resources in the classroom. By clicking the question mark on the top right of any of the tools, you'll be taken to a guide that explains how it can be used, as well as possible questions and links to other representations. The first tool is the number line, where two multiplication or division calculations are displayed. The multiples of each can be added to the number line, ultimately demonstrating the concept of commutativity. Part of the calculation can also be hidden. Next is the number frame tool. This tool demonstrates how a number, 14 for example, can be split into two sevens or seven twos. The rods tool shows calculations using proportional rods. These can be sorted, scattered or stacked to demonstrate equivalence. With each of the tools, the calculation demonstrator can be changed by clicking on the numbers at the bottom. You can also toggle between multiplication and division. The arrays tool uses dots in an array, which can be sorted as, for example, two groups of nine or nine groups of two. The dots are different colors to highlight these groups. Groups allows cubes to be sorted into groups of, for example, two nines or nine twos. In the bar model tool, numbers can be hidden or revealed, leaving lots of opportunities for questioning. There is also an interactive times table square where multiples can be hidden or revealed. The worded tool allows for simple hidden word problems. Answers can be revealed by clicking on the boxes. And the abstract tool shows the final abstract representations of multiplication and division. Again, numbers can be revealed and hidden by clicking. Each of these tools can be very helpful when teaching times tables, prompting discussion and hands-on activities. Why not give them a try in your next maths lesson?